It might seem like a weird time to be networking, but in uncertain times, it should actually be even more of a priority. It's a natural time to check in with people that you might not talk to frequently or may not have connected with in a while, all of whom could be good contacts in the future. People are being furloughed and losing jobs, and we're just not sure what the future might hold. And depending on the industry, networking can be a key part of building a career. Some estimates say that up to 85% of open positions are filled through networking. That said, it's important to strike the right tone. Nobody wants to feel used, and you don't want to come off as transactional. So it's a good idea to focus on existing relationships rather than trying to forge new ones, which might come off as more disingenuous. It may seem counterintuitive to focus on career development in the midst of a crisis, but it's actually a good time to think about that personally. Like if you want to improve your public speaking skills, you could participate more in video conferences and virtual meetings. People are stressed right now, so you could offer to take something off of your boss's plate to ease their workload. Keep in mind that when you're working remotely, you have to over communicate about your accomplishments. So manage up, showing your face is always valuable, and phone calls or video meetings can be preferable to say sending an email if you're trying to have a meaningful conversation or get an accurate read on someone's feelings. Everyone is struggling, but it's a critical time to strengthen relationships with people in your life, from friends to coworkers to mentors. That way, when we return to some semblance of a normal life, your relationships will be stronger than ever. What do I like about working from home? Well, one of the things that I love about working from home is I have a two-year-old whose vocabulary is blooming and to be able to see that throughout the day and hear it and hear how he's thinking and his mind is working is very different experience um, than when I get home at 6.30 at night and he's a little tired and just you know, wants to play. So being able to see his mind blossom and grow is an amazing gift and I feel very fortunate that I get to see that happen right in front of my eyes. I would say the best tips for leading my team are a few things. I think the morning meetings uh, with your immediate team members are really helpful. I think turning as much as you can to phone or Slack uh, or text messages eliminates the need for a ton of email. I also think it's incredibly important, um, if you can, to get on the same page as the other team members schedule-wise so everyone knows when you're homeschooling, when you're cooking lunch, and your expectations as a leader are set and they know when you're available. And I think keeping that line of open communication is key because we're all dealing with extraordinary circumstances and so the more we can be upfront, the better we as a team can work. So one thing that I definitely buy a lot of during this pandemic is chocolate chips. Um, I love to cook, I love to bake, and it's therapeutic for me. And when I'm craving something sweet, rather than you know just open up a candy bar, I will make something. I've been making a lot of almond flour chocolate chip cookies, almond flour brownies. Um, however, I can do something that doesn't totally uh, feel like cheating, but gives me some sweetness, and those chocolate chips are a very important part of it. 